Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me again for our devotion this week. I wonder how many of you like to play city building games. For those of you who have a computer or laptop or whatever other <laughs> gaming device, I love and I've loved from a long time since I was little to build cities. Uh, it's always fun just to play sandbox and see how big you can make them and how pretty you can make them, all the little parks and different road layouts and all that. But when you play them properly, it's actually quite a challenge because you have to think about all sorts of things. You have to think about your people, you have to think about their needs and uh, service delivery. You know, you need to maybe give more money to police and less to the fire department. You need education, but if you build a high school and you only got 800 people, you're going to be wasting money because 40 are only going to go to school. So there's lots of those things to think about. Then you get some games like, I don't know if any of you know about Tropica, but that's basically where you run your own island a country, island republic. And there it's uh, even further because you're not only thinking about service delivery, but you're thinking about trade routes and what sort of goods you're producing and what kind of people you have. You know, do you have uneducated people, college educated people? If you have too many uneducated people, you can't have uh, uh, hectic research institutions. And if you have too many college educated people, you're not going to have lots of people to pick the grapes on the vineyard plantations and all that. So there's lots of those things to think about. And the point is, if you rush into things and try to build too big too quickly, you're going to run out of money or you're going to run out of resources or other things like, um, like I said, maybe you, you run out of uh, people who can educate other people, all sorts of, you know, we, I'm breaking it down to very simple things and it's not, we're not talking about real life yet, but just in general, you know, in, in those kinds of games, if you rush too quickly, you're going to find yourself struggling later on. And I found this verse in Proverbs 19, um, verse 2. And it says here, Desire without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. Desire without knowledge, the sub footnote here says, or soul, so desire or a soul without knowledge is not good. Basically a longing, an interest, a, a connection with something, something deep. So, so having this desire, having this soul for something without knowledge is not good. And whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. It's all part of the same verse. So a desire without knowledge is not good. If you make haste with your feet, because you have a desire without knowledge, you're going to miss your way. That's what it's saying. And that's what I thought about when, when I was uh, thinking about the SimCity and Tropica and all that. In our lives as well, if we have desire without knowledge, if we have a soul, a longing for something, but we don't know about it, and we make haste with that, we're going to fall very short. Just like in the games, in real life we're going to fall short because we haven't taken the time to acquire the knowledge we need to be able to do that. And it's the same thing with our spiritual lives. If we say we're a Christian, if we say we're a believer, and we actually don't know about God, we don't know about what Jesus has done or who He is, the character of God, we're going to make haste because we're so zealous, but it's unfounded. Jesus said the time is coming when true, true worshippers will worship in spirit and in truth. If we have spirit, but we don't have truth, we're going to be like this. We're going to be making haste and missing our way very badly. We're going to start, we're going to start coming up with things like prosperity, the prosperity gospel. We're going to start coming up with things like um, wonderful synthesizers and stuff and just for worship and we feel all this nice music but where's God in all that and we start singing things like it's like fire fall down I don't know what that song is what, what are you calling for fire falling down from heaven is judgment usually so this is why we need to have that soul have the desire but back it up with knowledge and knowledge that comes from the word of God and so that is my encouragement and that is my um my thought that I want to share with you this morning, that we all have these desires, we all have these longings, we all have these souls for things, especially for God, especially for His Word, if we call ourselves a Christian believer. And you might have all these wonderful plans and things you want to do, and that's fantastic, but back it up with knowledge. Make sure you know your God. Make sure you know who He is. Make sure you know what His plans and purposes are, what His will is. 
I spoke about on Sunday, we're always asking God, what's, what's God's will for my life? Please God, show me your will for my life. No, we should be asking God, what is your will? Jesus prayed, not my will be done, but yours. So we need to be, we need to be looking at God's will, not God's will for my life, because then it becomes focused on me. We need to focus on Him. And that starts with His Word. He has revealed Himself to us. He has revealed His will to us in His Word. And that's where we need to start, because we need that knowledge before we can press on. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank You for this time again this morning. Thank You for allowing us to meet every single week in this way, the blessing of technology and being able just to, uh, even though we aren't in person together, but having this kind of fellowship, we bless you and thank you for that. Thank you for your word to us this morning. Thank you for showing us that uh, even though we, we're really keen to do things sometimes, if we don't have knowledge, we're going to fall short. If our feet make haste, we're going to miss our way. Father, thank you that you haven't made it so that we we can rush into things uh, and miss our way every time but you have given us knowledge you have given us the option to explore to find knowledge to acquire knowledge you have given us the option to seek wisdom to ask for wisdom from you and we bless you and thank you for that lord jesus we pray that you will help us to ask you uh, for, for wisdom to be seeking knowledge to know who you are as you have revealed uh, to us in your word father we don't want to rush into things without any knowledge but we want to we want to make sure that we are prepared that we are rooted in your word before we go forward in things and we know that if our wills are aligned with your will because we know who you are in your word and what your will is then our plans will succeed because ultimately then we'll be operating in your plans thank you that you have made a way for us we bless you and give you thanks in jesus name Amen.